Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hey, girl, hey. Hey. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. It's really a pleasure to be able to talk to you about this film. It is actually, I screened it last year. It was one of my favorite films of 2023. So thank you, Ava, for this beautiful piece of work. It was an art. It was a masterclass. I've been telling everybody that, that I've talked to about this movie. Um, starting with you, Ava, uh, you know, this film, I, I wanted to know, it, it, it was narratively different from the book, um, but with the film adaptation, what led you to decide to have this story focus on Isabel's journey and her whole process through the research of going through diving into this book and kind of enduring her as the focal point of this story? Well, thank you for your kind words about the film. And I'm not on Twitter anymore, but uh, some of your tweets were shared <laughs> with me and I appreciate your vocal support. Um, it needed a character. The book by Isabel Wilkerson is a brilliant book. It is an anthropological thesis with facts and figures and anecdotes and some characters here, here or there, but not a finite beginning, middle, and end, like a story. So as a screenwriter, I'm looking for story. I'm looking for character. I'm looking for something that a great actor can play. And there wasn't one story in the book. So I had considered, well, maybe I'll take some of these smaller stories and expand them. But as I was looking for characters and hunting for them in the book, Isabel herself lifted from the pages because often she'll speak in, not often, but now and then she'll speak in first person in the book. And so the idea came to me one day of, well, maybe she can lead us through all of these characters and all of that information. And then when I thought of that, I like, what a part for someone great. Like, and then when I met uh, her through Zooms and I started talking with Isabel Wilkerson and she started telling me about these incredible losses that she had endured and the ways in which she got through them, the character just started to become more vibrant, more multifaceted, more complex, and became a role that I was really excited to, um, to invite an actor to collaborate with. And so how lucky am I that the actor was Anjanou Ellis Taylor. Um, and I just think it's a, it's a rare part for, um, for any woman actor um, and and especially for 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 a black woman actor, so I think um, it was a perfect marriage of actor and role, in my opinion. Anjanu, uh, you know there is this scene where, and I don't want to give it away, but you're you're speaking with this woman, this white woman, and your character Isabel is having this discussion that, you know, talking about she's talking about the oppression of the Jewish people. You're talking about the oppression of black folks. And your character is very measured in her <laughs> response to this white woman's claims. Is that measured and calm response something that we as black women have to do to avoid the angry black woman trope? Or is that just the way Isabel responds in any situation? I think that, uh, that measured response, that was my character work. That was my character work. Um, I I think that I am I'm definitely uh, in my observation of Miss of Miss Wilkerson, my conversations that I've had with Ava about her, her her demeanor, how her how she comports herself through the world. Um, yeah, I think she's very. She has poise. She has elegance. She's very measured. She's a thinker. She strategizes. That scene that in the basement. That was something, her interaction with him was something that she strategized. It wasn't emotion, it was something that she strategized. She needed something from him, and she said, how do I do that? And that's actually in the book cast. Um, so yeah, that, that was my character work. I, I, I don't, I wouldn't talk to that woman like that. Like I, I just, <laughs> I wouldn't be, I wouldn't talk to that woman like that. And I, and actually, you know, I, I think that there is, I think the emotions of black women get so politicized, right? Yeah. That so we have to, we are constantly having to measure ourselves because that is a, that is a pre presumption. It is, a, I hate this word, but it is a stereotype about, uh, 
uh, black women's response to trauma and sometimes a correct response to trauma is anger. It is rage. Uh, and I don't, I'm not ashamed of that. Uh, but the character work I did was definitely Ms. Wilkerson. How does she respond to enraging situations? And I think that was, that was one. That was one, yeah. <laughs> Facts on top of facts. Well, congratulations, Anjanu, by the way, on your Black Film Critics Circle win for Origin. And congratulations on this film, Ava. Again, beautiful film, my favorite of 2023. I can't wait for everybody else to see it as it opens and expands in theaters nationwide. And uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to Black Girl Nerds. Uh, thank you. Hi, Nisi. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Your performance with Anjanu was so authentic and genuine, and it still sticks with me to this day. Um, and it, it was palpable. Would you say that your off-screen relationship with her had something to do with that genuine authenticity? And does the on-screen, off-screen dynamic have an impact on your performance as an actor? Well, um, that was a lot of questions in one, but <laughs> let, me, let me start here by saying Andre New and I worked together um, on another Ava DuVernay project called When They See Us. And that movie, we were mortal enemies. So in this movie, because there was so much um, love and connection and support that she needed from her cousin, Marion. I started the connective tissue before we ever got to set. So um, I called her and we had a long conversation. What do you need? How can I help you? How can I support you with what's happening right now? Um, uh, can I pray for you? You know, just started to bake the things in prior to me ever coming to set so that by the time I got there, we were already in a rhythm. I love that. I love that. I've been saying to everyone about this film, including not only you guys, the cast, but everyone that have not seen the film yet, that this is like watching a masterclass because I've learned so much while watching this film. You being in it, what did you learn throughout the process of filming Origin? Well, I think the film in and of itself is a delicious invitation to think differently or to unlearn some things you thought you knew, you know, because we're socialized to believe that everything is race when it's really not, you know, um, yeah. and trying to understand um, these, these containers that we um, are all put in uh, was like a huge takeaway because I felt like, you know, at one point, you know, you think, oh, you know what I mean? I, I know what's going on in the world. And then after you do this film, you say, at least I thought I knew, you know, and I thought it was so beautiful because the idea of cast, one of the things that I thought Ava did so beautifully was to actually say, we're not going to make a film about cast and not see how it plays out on a set. Because when you, when you come on set, there's an A camera team and a B camera team. And typically A is considered to be the best or the first or the, you know. So she said, we're going to do away with that. And we're going to call it East and West camera. I'm going to purpose to go to where um, the uh, background talent has their holding and talk to them every day to make sure that they feel value, um, you know, on the set and in the space. So, I mean, I, 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 I felt it in my spirit and then I saw it uh, played out on Ava's set. Well, Nisi, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to Black Girl Nerds. Uh, congratulations on this film. Congratulations on your Emmy nomination for Dahmer. I'm going to be rooting for you on Monday night. I can't wait to see you and Jessica on the red carpet because you always look so yeah. stunning together. Thank you. <laughs> and I, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, John, how are you? How are you? I appreciate you taking the time. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me as well. 
you know, I learned so much from watching this film and it, I've been saying this to everyone, it felt like a masterclass and I didn't know much even about the caste system. So I learned a lot as a black woman, as a marginalized person. So for you, what did you learn? How did you navigate your own experience being in this while you were filming Origin? Wow, that's uh, I, I'm so glad you uh, I'm so glad you, you you began with that because the, the fact that you learned something, you felt like you walked away with something. You, you, you know, th this book is uh, just a stunning achievement. And when and 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 for me, you know, if I'm watching something or if I'm listening to something or looking at a painting or reading a book, I think one of the most profound experiences you can have as a human being is to 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 see something or hear something or digest something that that's been that's been laid out for you that you've always felt in your heart is so exactly right that you felt in your heart you you you, you believed in but you've never you just don't have uh, you you have you don't have anything close to the capacity to articulate it for yourself and you know when i read this book it just so much of this book resonated with me and i just felt like all these like uh, maybe like you all these light bulbs were going off I'm like yeah wow i've never thought about it that way but that's so right and for me, the fact that you can, you know, that Ava was able to make a movie, to write a movie, film a movie, shoot a movie, edit a movie, that 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 takes this unbelievably nuanced, you know, sociological philosophy and, and to deliver it in a way that doesn't feel like it's spoon fed or, or, or jammed down your throat or medicine, that, that you felt it was a masterclass, but not some boring masterclass that you were watching your watch and trying to get out of, one that's human and, and emotional. And, and uh, I didn't know whether that was possible, honestly. I didn't see any avenue to how you could take this book and even with this brilliant script, how are we gonna make an entertaining movie? I was so down for the cause, so down for the mission of it, but I didn't know that it was possible. And it's really a testament to these three just world-class, unbelievable women, you know, Isabel Wilkerson, Ava DuVernay, and Anjanue Ellis, you know, it, 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 they both did it in their, I mean, they all three of them did it in their, in their own way with a singular, uh, journey. They climbed the mountains themselves. And uh, I was just so glad that I got to be a part of it and to be, you, you know, a support system, you know, on that journey. I'm, I'm just really proud to be a part of it. You know, speaking of support, there's such a sweetness to Brett and his love and support for Isabel through her work and the process of her research. Do you think his support is solely for his love of Isabel or is it more so he's in solidarity with Isabel's cause, or is it a little bit of both? I think it's all of the above. I I, I think for me, and, and I understand this deeply with my relationship with my own wife. I, I think one, there's, there's certain flavors of love that that is you just being in awe of your partner, being in awe of of your spouse, and I think that that's really where he is. He realizes. I, I think he was a huge fan of hers before he even met her. And I think that he realizes that she has this singular ability to uh, articulate things that, that that can do so much good for this wor world. And that she's operating on a plane that he is just absolutely in awe of. And so, so, so any chance it was one of the things that I really wanted to do in this film for Anjanu, for Ava, but also as Brett as a character, any chance he, he, we have, I was like, can he be making her tea here? Can he be can he be tidying something up here? Can he be just always always be in service? Always be this this support system and and, and there's real um there's real value in that. There's real uh and not in a subservient way, but in 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 a way that's just so in awe of her and her process. And uh and and I really dug that. I I really like playing uh that kind of husband you you, you know on film. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to Black Girl Nerds. We're big comic book fans, so okay. we're looking forward to some more Frank Castle action coming well, up. <laughs> I appreciate um, it. Absolutely. And, and you were amazing in origin. And we thank you for this amazing work with this film and appreciate your time today. Appreciate yours as well. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.